what if your floating home was amphibious? And that's exactly what Ben and Michelle Spokes and their daughter Aoife are dreaming about. They enjoy barging about on Britain's waterways and roaming the countryside in their caravan. Now they want to combine the two pleasures. The rebuild will transform the caraboat into a 72 square feet home that will be equally comfortable on land and water. They'll completely revamp the five decades old home to give it an ultra modern interior. As you walk in, there'll be a compact bathroom, followed by seats. There'll be an amazing hand-built mini kitchen that pops up when needed, complete with a sink, cooking hobs and drawers. There's a double bedroom that turns miraculously into a dining area that seats four. And the cockpit where Ben will sail using GPS systems. The old shell costs just £600, but Ben reckons he can transform it for just over two grand. I'll believe that when I see it. With internal dimensions of just 13 by five and a half feet, they're going to utilise every inch. But there's a problem. Their plan for a hob and drawers that slotted away will use up far too much space. So they'll now use this area for two guest bunks. Ben's designing a new fixed basin and hob for the other side of the cabin that'll have additional storage. The dining room will have lockers in the seats and walls. There's even room for special light features. Once the dancing's done, there's a double bed that simply slides out. That's if they can agree on a design. A little bit awkward agreeing on exactly what goes in. You just have to listen when I say no. Mm, this tiff, though, isn't stopping Ben from sorting the interior. He attaches more than 30 upright timbers to the wall, insulates the roof. I totaled it up the other day, and I reckon I've done a 1,000 screws so far. And clads the inside with marine ply to create a smooth finish ready for painting. The fact it floats and sails is a genuine achievement. Oh, can we go to America? <laughs> Everyone needs a caravan. You live in the dream, absolutely. But even more impressive is what Ben and Michelle have managed to squeeze into just 72 square feet of living space. The Grand Tour. The Grand Tour. There's the toilet. Look, you've got your own onboard toilet. No outside toilet on this one, I'm pleased to say. It's cramped, <laughs> and we always knew it was going to be quite a tight squeeze. <laughs> Next to the toilet at the rear of the boat is the mini kitchen and opposite a seating area. Which you can also use as a single berth. And you've got new, lots of USB chargers. Yeah, quite important. It's a slight nod to James Bond. It, it's a little bit there. He could power his gadgets from there, yeah. you know. He wouldn't be completely at sea no, on this caravan, would he? Exactly. And the galley. Yeah, there's the sink and the tap. But it also combines under the draining board with a little burner for doing your uh, cup of tea. If I take you out of the kitchen and we move okay. into the Let's living room. Let's shuffle along. Let's move to the living room. <laughs> there we go. Everybody wants on a floating home that amazing vista. From the kitchenette through to the dining room come bedroom and out onto a tiny veranda. 